Hi everybody, Stu AG6AG. Today we are testing the Baofeng UV5R8W. This is a dual band 2 meter 440 radio and is advertised to put out 8 watts. Um, yeah, well, you'll see in the video what the actual output is. Um, with that, oh, and do me a favor. Don't forget to subscribe. It really helps my numbers. And if you like my videos, click on like. And that gets this video and others that I do in front of more people. Also, hey, don't forget to click the bell to get notified uh, whenever I come out with a new video. Anyway, with that, let's go ahead and jump into it. All right. Well, let's take a look at the UV5R8. W, and I just got this radio a little while ago. Um, according to the manual and according to some other documentation, this is supposed to be an 8 watt high power radio providing 1 watt uh, at low power, 4 watts at medium power, and 8 watts at high power on VHF. I am going to go ahead and evaluate the power right now. Sorry, I don't have the spec sheet to show you on it. But, uh, you know, it's just kind of one of those things. With the UV5Rs, there are a gazillion different offshoots of it and everything else. So a lot of times with the Baofeng stuff, the manuals aren't exactly, I'm, for lack of a better word, I'm just going to say correct for the model that you have, even though they say they are. So let's go ahead and let's try a low power transmit on this and see what our reading is, okay? So, heat it. Let me make sure I am on the peak. And according to this, I'm at about 31 and a half dB. It's a little higher than one watt, but, you know, uh, we can run with that. Um, I'd say realistically at that, I'm going to say maybe one and a half watts, something like that. Uh, let's go ahead and change it to medium power and see what that output is. All right, we're set for medium power. Let's take a look at it. Let me make sure I got my peak. And we're peaking at about 36. Mm, I'd have to do the math on that, but uh, I'd say we're uh, maybe a little under four watts but in the area okay let's go ahead and uh, check out high power all right well let's see what this thing does on high power huh and let me make sure i've got the peak all right uh hmm that's a little over five watts um yeah, we saw this on the other Baofeng too, and I actually uh, uh, did some tests with an actual watt meter, and uh, they come in a little under six watts on their five watt radio or on their eight watt radios. Uh, so, uh, just something to keep in mind. Uh, you know, I double checked it, and yeah. With that though, let's go ahead and jump to our harmonics test and see how the sporadic emissions are on this radio, okay? All right, let's look at it. Hmm. Do a single shot. Wow. Um, let me plug in the numbers, but that looks pretty doggone good, but let me get the numbers in the spreadsheet. We'll take a look at it from there. Well, all right. I mean, wow. Take a look at the dB out on this. I mean, I'm beside myself. That's amazing. I am very, very impressed. Um, the only thing I really see wrong with this is the fact that it's not putting out 8 watts. It's only putting about 5.8 out. But, um, you know, to be honest with you, with a rubber duck on these radios, they don't manage to do a lot anyway. So, But enough of that. Uh, need to remind you here that these numbers and these tests are for entertainment purposes only, and we are not condemning nor certifying any of the radios that we test. 
I would expect that you would do your own research before making purchasing decisions or even use decisions on these radios. Um, as far as I'm concerned, though, this is a keeper, um, especially since I paid under $30 for the radio. I mean, again, I can't complain too much about little things like not quite putting out what it says it does. Uh, I'm impressed. Anyway, with that, let's get into the tail out and we'll talk a little more. Well, that was surprising. Uh, the uh, spurious emissions on this radio are, are amazingly low. Uh, as a matter of fact, on certain essays that I was testing this on, I couldn't even read them above the noise floor that I had when I was testing. That said, hey, um, do your own tests. And as far as the 8 watts, mm, yeah, this is the second uh, high-power Balfane that we've tested that hasn't really come to snuff with that. And again, I've, I've verified it with an external watt meter to see what it's actually putting out. And it's, it's really, both of them are putting out under 6 watts. So, um, you know, if you know a trick or something that I'm possibly doing something wrong with this, uh, let me know. But the reality of it is that, uh, hey, the radios put out wattage. They put out enough wattage to use them with repeaters and line of sight. Um, and based on the, uh, I've, I've never seen that low spurious emissions on a Baofeng. But also remember, hey, we're doing this for entertainment purposes only. I am neither certifying nor failing any radios in any of these videos based on the numbers that we're getting with our tests. Um, we are one source. When doing research, you should be relying on many sources before you make any decisions about any products. With that, hey, I want to thank everybody for being out there. And Oh, one last thing. I've been using the term sporadic rather than spurious in videos, and I have a lot of them put to bed where I'm doing that. Uh, I promise in the future I'm going to try to clean them up, but there'll be a couple more videos that are already in the can that are going to have that word, and I apologize. Just, you know, uh, grit your teeth and smile and say, yeah, that's Stu. Anyway, 73, everybody. This is Stu AG6AG. Hope to hear you on the air.